Hello and welcome to day 11 of Dominion Menagerie bonus previews. Today's preview is for Desperation, a zero cost event. It says once per turn you may gain a curse. If you do, plus one buy and plus two coins. In his preview, Donald X related this to a um, the event version of Cursed Gold, which, I, I mean, I think the comparison there is pretty apt and pretty obvious. Um, I do, uh, however, want to mention another comparison, which is to Borrow. So, like Borrow, this is uh, a zero cost. It gives you your buyback and gives you some extra money in return for some kind of downside. Um, Obviously, this gives you two money, borrow only gives you one, but this gives you a bigger downside in general. Although in some cases, uh, the downside is actually lower, depending on like, you know, if you have trashing or something like that, that can easily take care of the curse. But, you know, in general, um, stronger upside, stronger downside. Um, then, of course, compared to Curse Gold, you have... Uh, less upside because you get less money um, but you also um, don't have to have this in your deck in order to use it um, which is better than curse gold because that means you will always have this available to you exactly when you need it you don't have to worry about you know did you draw it at the right time or draw it with um, the the other money that you need to hit whatever price point you're trying to hit so um, so yeah, I mean, and, and I will say in that sense, for what it's worth, I think it, this is stronger than Cursed Gold, although it's a little weird of a comparison to compare like a starting card that you don't have a choice about putting your new deck to an event. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think uh, just the, the control that you have uh, with Desperation and the fact that it doesn't take up space in your deck makes it preferable. Um, that being said, it does have some limitations that Curse Gold doesn't have. Um, specifically, you have to gain the curse in order to get the money, which is not true of Cursed Gold. Um, so if the curse pile does run, then this event becomes completely useless. Um, so that is definitely something to watch out for, uh, especially because like one of the common cases for Borrow uh, is to like you know do something like you know get some extra reach for buying like the last province or or like the you know last province plus something else maybe you know the last two provinces or you know a province and a duchy or something uh where you know you you don't you're not quite hitting that price point and you don't really care about the downside because you're going to end the game if you do hit that price point um and I, certainly that's applicable to desperation but there are going to be times where you can't do that because the curse pile is empty uh so you know if that's something that you're planning around you need to watch out for that um my experience with cursed gold is that it's very rare uh that the curse pile runs simply as a result of cursed gold being in the kingdom like it's generally not worth playing enough times for that to happen because you want to be very judicious with the number of times you play it though it does depend on the board i mean obviously the stronger the trashing is uh the more likely that you can afford to play it um but it's pretty rare that the trashing is so strong that you want to play it that many times like i could i could imagine like maybe in a cathedral game or something but uh it's it's otherwise like quite rare the same thing is probably going to be true of desperation that you're, you're not going to want to just spam this thing and gain a whole bunch of curses um but maybe like it, if curse gold is in the kingdom and there's also like a strong cursing attack that somebody invests into then sometimes it can that can push you in the direction of playing it more often because you figure well i'm gonna get you know these curses anyway and if I, this allows me to hit a price point then you know i might as well do it although that can be um that can be a bit of a trap too because you know putting the curses in your deck sooner um rather than later 
isn't necessarily a good idea and not to mention that it can make you lose the curse split like more than you would have otherwise um and again of course it comes back to how much trashing there is so um but you know i part of the reason i think that comparison with curse gold is apt is i think that there is like a pretty strong relationship between you know how often do you actually want to play curse gold and how often do you want to take desperation i think the fact that the desperation has like friendlier timing basically uh just because the it you know it, it is always available exactly when it would be most helpful means that you probably end up taking desperation more often than you take curse or than you play curse gold um then again the fact that curse gold takes up a slot a, a spot in your deck and that means like on any on a given turn that you have it you had you drew it and it's you know like there's a there's in a way there's like a higher opportunity cost to not playing curse gold so um yeah i mean it's curse gold is not like is usually not worth playing more than a couple times and how and you know how often and when of course also depends on just like what it is that you were using it to buy so like if you can buy a really strong early like five or six cost uh during your opening you know that that can that can be worth it and then sometimes you just never play it again and i could definitely see desperation going that way where you're like oh i can you know i can get it's worth taking a curse now to be able to get uh, like a mountebank in the open or a recruiter in the open or you know something along those lines um but uh you know i don't think you're not going to want to do something like oh i want to get a whole bunch of like villages or a whole bunch of labs and let me just like use desperation to buy all of those like that's not going to be a good idea as it isn't with curse gold um so i guess overall um I think this event is on the weaker side in the sense that it's not going to be something that you use a lot because you don't want to take a curse. Um, but at the same time, I also think it it has the potential to be very strong in terms of like leverage. Like you you uh, using this in the opening to to jump up to you know five or six or potentially even seven like you could you could open with um inheritance with this potentially for example um that i mean that's like you know that's that's a powerful enough effect that you, maybe you end up calling the event strong even if that's the only time you take it all game um and actually it it would be you could open let's see if you had desperation and curse gold and baker then you could have a you'd open with a 10 cost is that right <laughs> i think you could just open populate um right four coppers plus um curse gold is seven desperation gets you to nine Baker gets you to 10. Borrow gets you to 11. So you could open Colony. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, yeah, this is... I mean, that's not going to happen. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so th I, this is... Um, I do, like I said, I do think, I do think it's, it's going to be m more useful than Curse Gold, but something that you're going to want to use very judiciously, but something that has the potential to um really like uh open up some some interesting options uh at the beginning of the game uh and then probably also provide some uh some reach at the you know like at the end of the game when you're just like scrambling to hit you know greening price points i think those are going to be the most two common cases anyway Thank you for watching, and I may be back tomorrow with another one of these, depending on whether the set actually drops or not, or what's going on with that. Um, if if there isn't uh, another preview because the set has dropped, then at some point I will be coming out with some kind of uh, review of the entire set, but I doubt I will do be able to get that done like the same day that the set drops, so we'll see.
Either way, until next time.